What's going on, everybody? Welcome into the Bulls Report by Chad Sports. My name is Patrick Seatman, and coming up on today's show, we're going to be going over probably the four hottest trade ideas that I've seen around the Chicago Bulls. We got one for Caruso, one for Vooch, one for DeMar, and then obviously one for Zach Levine. So we're going to be diving into all four trade ideas, what team, what the Bulls will be getting back, because... Listen, with the Bulls losing to the uh, Brooklyn Nets last night after they were up 20 at the end of the first quarter, and then at halftime, they were down 10. The Bulls are 5-13. and I fully expect this fire sale to probably be happening sooner than a lot of us think. I actually don't think the Bulls will wait till the trade deadline. I think they're going to try to get people out here uh, probably sooner rather than later. We also got a report actually from uh, Casey Johnson earlier um, that Billy Donovan's seat is not warm apparently Billy Donovan will remain the Bulls head coach and all the you know hot seat rumors and that he could be getting fired apparently that was just all smoke from the fans so it seems like Billy will be okay it seems like the moves that they will make are around the roster and I do expect them to be moving off a lot of these guys and hey that's another reason you guys got to subscribe to our channel any rumor any news piece that comes out around your Chicago Bulls I want to be your go-to guy we'll break down the news rumors whatever it is and I'll give you guys my thoughts on it as well so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and let's just dive into it let's dive into the four trade ideas that uh i've really seen floated out there so the first trade idea it's actually alex caruso and this one was interesting um for two reasons uh this was caruso going to the denver nuggets and it was caruso for julian strother reggie jackson and a 2030 first round pick swap This is a move where it's kind of like from my side of things, we can start with the Bulls. Like, I like it. I don't love it. Like, do I think the Bulls could get multiple firsts for Caruso? Probably not. But I would rather just them get a unprotected uh, 2027, whatever year you want to be, first round pick instead of having a 2030 first round pick swap. I get, I love Julian Strother. He was a dog at Gonzaga. He played a great preseason for the Nuggets. Hasn't really been able to crack the rotation too uh, too often during the regular season. But he's a really good player. He's a really good scorer. He's actually really improved. He struggled with his uh, pull-up jump shooting in college. Turns out now, in the at least in the preseason, he was a great pull-up jump shooter. We obviously know he's a great catch-and-shoot guy as well. So I like getting him as a prospect. And then obviously, you know, Reggie Jackson, just kind of a throwing piece there. But... In terms of that trade, Caruso going to the Nuggets for Strother, Jackson, and a 2030 first round pick swap. My kind of thing is, if I got that notification on my phone, I'd be like, okay, I like it. I don't love it. I would probably have to understand, like, what are the other offers out there. But from the Nuggets side of things, if they would get Alex Caruso and you could pair him up with, like, Jamal Murray and obviously Jokic and just be, have another really good role player. I mean, could you imagine if their closing lineup was, you know, Jamal Murray, and maybe they don't – maybe KCP doesn't have the hot hand that night, and they say, we're going to go Jamal Murray, Caruso, Michael Porter, Aaron Gordon, and Jokic. That's one of the best teams on both sides of the floor in the NBA. Like, so Caruso, from the Nuggets side of things, I get it. Bulls side of things, I like it. I don't love it. We're hopping to the second one right here. So this is one – I'm, I like, but again, I don't love. It's Vooch going to the Grizzlies. Um, and in this package, it was the Bulls getting Luke Kennard, Zaire Williams, um, and a lot of protected 2029 20, first round pick. So again, they're not getting a lot of picks in these moves. They're more going for the prospects. And Zaire, and obviously, you know, Luke Kennard's not really a prospect anymore. But this one, I would just like this one just to move off Vooch's contract. Um, I think Vooch and I think centers in the NBA are very comparable to running backs in the NFL. Where it's like, unless you have the top dog, where it's like Derrick Henry, Christian McCaffrey, just like how it's, you know, Jokic and B, you know, Bam, like these types of centers. If you don't have a top tier guy, I don't really want to pay the center position. The Bulls kind of have already dug themselves a hole with obviously, you know, re-signing and extending Vooch this offseason. So I would actually do this deal 100%. You get Zaire Williams, big fan of his game, and uh, just another, you know, young prospect that the Bulls can, you know, hopefully try to develop and just kind of fully restart you know, this uh, this full rebuild process. But you're getting a 2029 first round lottery protected pick. Again, if those are two bull, like, let's combine them for a second. Let's just say the Bulls move off Caruso and Vooch, and you get a 2030 first round pick swap, 2029 uh, lottery protected first from the Grizzlies, and Strother, Jackson, Kennard, and Zaire Williamson, I'm probably taking it. Like, I'm probably okay with that because you know what that means? The Bulls will probably be picking top five next year in the draft. Um, and you do get some, uh, you know, you get some decent picks 
uh, obviously later here in the decade. But those are the first two trade ideas. Let me know. Would you guys do either of those two trades? Let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section. And uh, we can hop into the third and fourth trade idea here. And uh, this, one's a, this one's an interesting one. It's DeMar DeRozan to the Miami Heat. So, listen, we've, we've heard, like, the Heat getting involved with, you know, DeMar, Levine, and we've heard the Lakers kind of the same thing, like the Sixers, the Knicks, like those are kind of the big four teams that are constantly connected to the, um, you know, to uh, the DeMar DeRozan and Zach Levine kind of sweepstakes here. But it was DeMar DeRozan for Kyle Lowry, a 2026 second round pick and a 2029 first round pick swap. So originally when I got, or when I saw this, I was like, oh, hell no. Like, why would I really want to do this? But, you know, DeMar, DeMar's on an expiring deal. And honestly, I like this trade for both sides or for both teams here. Like, the Heat are kind of getting another score that could get them finally over that hump. We know they have that kind of, you know, Heat culture, that def the uh, defensive identity that just naturally Jimmy, Spo, and Bam bring. And you get them a score in DeRozan. And listen, guys, DeRozan hasn't really had that good of a season. Like, I don't even know if the Bulls could get an unprotected first round pick for DeMar. Like he's on an expiring contract. So you get the expiring deal, you know, off your books um, here. And, you know, you get a second round pick and a 2029 first round pick swap. Like honestly, that deal, I'm probably taking it for DeMar DeRozan. But, you know, I just think with a lot of these guys on the Bulls, I think we're going to be probably just genuinely or generally uh, disappointed in the package we do get back because I think we got to realize, man, like you have all these guys on a team and they're five and 13. I'm sure other NBA GMs are kind of scratching their head being like, well, if you want all this for all these guys, why aren't you guys winning games? Like, so I don't know. I just, I just don't really think DeMar is going to go for that that much, you know, considering his contract and just overall his age and just, you know, how poorly he has honestly played this season. He hasn't really even gotten that mid range going like we always uh, knew he did. But this is the final one. This is the one I love the most. Um, this is Zach Levine. This is the Zach Levine to the Los Angeles Lakers. So this one, you're getting you're getting D'Angelo Russell, Rui Hachimura, Jalen hood Shafino, a 2028 first-round pick swap, and then a 2030 top-five protected first-round pick. So this is a risky one. Um, I actually like this move for the Bulls. Listen, I want to move off of Vien so bad. I want to get him out of here. I just, I, just, I just don't think he is the right fit for the Bulls. And, you know, that 2028 first-round pick swap probably won't come to fruition. Bulls will probably be, still be bad this year. And, you know, you always feel like the Lakers are going to be good. But if you could somehow get that 2030 top five protected first round pick, if, okay, I'll say this. If there is no prote protections on this pick, I'm doing this deal in a heartbeat. Kind of playing a little, you know, you're taking a gamble here. Hopefully that maybe the Heat or the Lakers draft, you know, five through 10, and you get super lucky here. But you know, you're getting D'Lo, a solid player. You're getting Rui, a solid player. But I would be most excited about getting Jalen hood Shafino here uh, in this move. And that's kind of my whole thought with all of these Bulls, trade ideas, trade rumors. It's like, yes, I do want the draft capital. But give me some young guys that I can actually like look at and be like, you know what? I want to root for this guy. I want to see him develop and just, it will get me more back invested into this Bulls team because right now apathy is fully setting in amongst Bulls fans. We're, you know, honestly, fans just don't really care about watching this team anymore because, you know, it's a dead end and we're, it's just a ticking time bomb with this roster at this point. So those are the four trade ideas. It was Caruso to the Nuggets, Vooch to the Grizzlies, DeMar to the Heat, and Levine to the Lakers. I fully expect all four of these guys to be dealt. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. But thank you guys so much for watching. Those are the latest Chicago Bulls trade rumors going over four blockbuster trade ideas around the big four that could possibly be traded. See you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. As always, go Bulls.